Hello and welcome to Indus News from Islamabad. I'm Javad Hami and these are the headlines. Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control are observing the accession to Pakistan Day with a renewed pledge to continue the struggle for freedom. On this day in 1947, two representatives of the Kashmiris unanimously passed the resolution of Kashmir's accession to Pakistan. In his message on the day, Prime Minister Imran Khan reassured Pakistan's commitment to stand by the Kashmiris in their struggle for freedom. Beijing says it will respond to any attempt by the UK to sanction Chinese officials over new Hong Kong security law. In an interview, China's envoy to the UK, Liu Xiaoming, said London should chart its own foreign policy uh, rather than dance to the tune of Washington. Tensions between London and Beijing are rising over a host of issues, including Hong Kong and Huawei. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's corruption trial has resumed after a two-month break. Netanyahu has now become the first serving Israeli Prime Minister to go on trial. He was indicted last year on bribery, fraud and breach of trust. A record increase in the... A record increase in the global number of COVID-19 cases has been reported over the past 24 hours. The World Health Organization says almost 260,000 people tested positive overnight, increasing the toll to over 14.2 million with more than 601,000 deaths. Brazil has reported over 28,000 infections and 971 fatalities overnight, increasing the death toll to nearly 79,000. In Pakistan, 46 people lost their lives in the last 24 hours, raising the total to 5,568, with nearly 263,000 cases. And in cricket, West Indies are batting in their first innings of the second test against England at Manchester's Old Trafford. The visitors were at 32 runs at the loss of one wicket at the end of the day two, while the third day was completely washed out. Windies are 1-0 up in the three-match series. That is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news.